but turned over. Now Chad McLean looking for a shot. Good shot on net. Puck still loose. Puck comes out to Coles. Shot on net. Bobbled loose. And Fellner with an absolutely beautiful save. Wow on his bum. Still able to find that puck. Oh, and another huge hit as Graydon Goddess counter hitting perfectly timed. A hit on Chad McLean there. Sends it over. Here's Schendel. Puts it on net. Driving the net. Schendel. Friends. Loose puck. Everybody's there. But it's Jackson Fellner who falls on that one and covers up for another whistle. As Frazier gets waved out, it's now Owen Dean. Wins that one for his team, but Connor Burke able to sneak his way through. Roman Cherniak now back to the point. Big shot from Land and Coles. And the puck's in the net. Connor Burke able to find that loose puck and poke it past Fellner. Beautiful shot by Andon Coles. Able to just get that one through. Doesn't matter how hard he finds the lane. And then it's Connor Burke putting in the work down low. Big scramble of multiple people in that one. We were just talking about that. Fellner typically had had the support throughout this first period in front of the net. Little laps in that one. And Burke able to poke it home. one nothing for the Bobcats. Poke that one in. But it's Maxi who comes back, finding that loose puck. Nice set of mitts there, and finds the middle. What a shot from distance, Matthew Gauthier. That all starts by a beautiful play by Flynn Maxi with a nice silky mitts, cuts across the ice, and finds the open man in the high slot. One all with 3.39 left in the first period. Moves it up. Bobcats gain the line. Those are some quick moves by, I believe, Connor Burke. Burke finds Swanson from his knees. Finds Coles deking in. And Coles with a beautiful goal jumping in from the high slot and able to bury it past the glove hand of Jackson Fellner. Great team effort on that one as it seemed like everybody touched the puck there. Burke putting in the work in the corner. Swanson coming out and supporting him and finding and Coles for that beautiful shot. Two for roughing. There's 40 seconds left. Kodiak's turned that one over in the neutral zone. It's Max Stewart applying pressure. The Condor does a good job evading him behind that net. Now moving forward, Frazier applying pressure. Gets a flip just over his head onto the stick of Max Stewart and feeds that in front for Zafir Rauji. The easy tap-in goal and the Bobcats' first short-handed goal of the preseason. Absolutely beautiful pass by Max Stewart and a good job by the Bobcats of applying those pre that pressure and realizing when it is their time to jump. Three to one for the Bobcats, 26.9 seconds left in this first period. <laughs> set up. Once they're set up, they're a good power play team as the Kodiaks now take it into the offensive zone, finds the middle, tries to throw it past, open net, and a goal finish by Greg Nelson, finds that open net on a fan shot from Owen Dean. It might not have been exactly how they planned it to happen, but that's a good goal. They don't ask how, they ask how many. As the Kodiaks cut the lead to one. Three to two, 1848 left in this second. Net there, who can't capitalize. Rougey now, back to the point. To Stewart, sends it over, and what a shot! Ethan Akoy! Max Stewart finds Ethan a coin set up in his wheelhouse, and he makes no mistake, burying his fifth of the preseason. What a pass there from Stewart. That's two assists in a row, and helping the Bobcats now lead four to two. Parker and Stewart on it. Puck comes out to Rougey, back to Stewart, back to Rougey, and he scores! 
give and go. How about that one? Five to two for the Lloyd Minster Bobcats, and this power play is starting to roll. Fifteen fifty-six left to go in this second period. Well, a scramble draw, which should have been won by Gao. Ends up going for the Bobcats. Two on one, centering pass, scores! A breakdown on the offensive zone draw. Ends up with a goal in the back of their net. I believe that was Matthew Swanson. Able to bury that one on a beautiful two on one. Puck just poked to the middle of the ice, and he knows what to do on that one. Six to two now in favor of the Bobcats. Chad McLean wins that faceoff and ties up Sullivan, continuing to apply pressure, but the D to D beats every Bobcat player, for the moment at least. Gurley set up behind the net, finds the D-man. That's Loveson, Loveson to the middle. Nice shot there by Robert Kincaid. Another one finds its way home. Robert Kincaid took the shot. We'll see if that one got deflected. And it looks like it did. As Connor Gurley leads the handshake lineup. Beautiful setup there by the Kodiaks. First power play goal of the preseason for this team. <laughs> Something to happen, fires back to the point. Coventry, quick shot on net, easy blocker save there for Wellcott. And now a breakaway for the Kodiaks. It's number 22, Connor Gurley. And he scores, a late delay from the referee. But that is a good goal. Connor Gurley has scored back-to-back -back goals within this game and gives his team a chance. Now the score is 6-4. to four. The puck's still loose. And two guys are grabbing each other. We have a scrap. Chad McLean feeding them to Michael Loveson. Loveson gets a shot in. They are throwing bombs back and forth. It's McLean holding them down, giving them those rights. The linesman will now come in and separate the two boys who just gave it their all. Four minutes, 20 seconds to go in the third period. 41 seconds left on the man advantage for the Kodiaks as Kincaid walks the line. Sends it back to Frazier who absolutely picks that corner. What a shot coming from Griffin Frazier. Well, if it wasn't working before, this power play for the Camrose Kodiaks is starting to heat up. Robert Kincaid walks that line beautifully, draws the defender with him, sends it right back to Griffin Frazier, who makes zero mistake, beating Axel Roseland over the blocker side shoulder. The Lloyd Minster Bobcats take this one six to five. 